So now that we're done drawing our ball pup, we are ready to move on to the painting portion. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to trace it with Sharpie and you're going to use the find point inside because there's a lot of details on this bull pup, okay? So use the find point and you're going to trace. I'm not going to do the whole thing just for this video, but All right, so once you're done tracing with Sharpie, then you're going to break your bullpup down into sections. I'm gonna do this with pencil just to kind of help you, but here's what I mean by that. So maybe like right here where this hind leg meets the foot, I'm gonna break that into one little section, and then I'm gonna break this into another little section, and then maybe this arm, maybe this foot again. Okay, I'm just kind of making some different sections on him, and you'll see why in just a second, okay? So I'm doing this with pencil first because then that way I know if I make a mistake then I can fix it. Okay, then I'm going to trace that with Sharpie. All those little sections I just made. I might even do right here too. Okay, and then the next thing you need to do is you need to go back and you need to erase all your pencil marks. So that you're ready to paint. All right, once you're done with that, you're ready to paint with watercolor. So you're gonna need your watercolor box again. You're gonna need a water cup again. And if you want, you can even have your colored pencils and I'll talk to you about your colored pencils in a second, okay? So for my background, I did warm colors. So my bowl pup has to be only cool colors. I'm gonna paint each section a different color of cool colors. Now, the reason that I have my Color pencils is if you wanted to do something funky and you do not have to do this this is just optional you could do things like draw some designs on your bullpup with color pencil and then go back over and paint okay now you don't have to do that but if you want to you can if you go outside of the bullpup, like I just went off of his leg, totally fine, because you are going to cut it out later. Okay. So that's one section, right? I think I forgot to trace this one. All right, so that's one section. So what I mean is you're gonna do each section a different color of paint. So, now I can obviously use that blue again. I just don't want to use it again right next to that one that I just did. So then this section would be a different color. And you don't have to do patterns in each one. I think it would be fun if you did some patterns in some of them, though, just to kind of give it a little bit more character. So, like, maybe on this foot. I do something. Okay, and then I'll paint that as well. Okay, so reminder, every section is gonna be a different color, but you can obviously repeat colors, you just don't wanna repeat colors right next to each other. All right, there are certain um, sections that I do want to leave white. 
and I'll show you what those are. So this is just my preference. I'm going to leave the spikes white, and then I would leave his teeth white, and then I would leave the white of his eye white, just because those are supposed to be white in the photo, and that's just kind of how I would want it to be, okay? So that's what you're going to do today. Once again, you don't have to use the color pencils if you don't want to, but I encourage you to just because I think it adds a little bit more interest and personality to your bullpups.